GPT-4 was just demonstrated. This was a live stream by Greg Brockman, who is the president and co-founder of OpenAI. And it's a pretty short demonstration. I'll link to it down below, but there's one little piece that I wanted to share with you all, developers. And if you thought maybe my job is safe after all, well, you better level up because, well, check this out. So I have here a nice, hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. A hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo. So he's taking a photo off the mock-up of the website. And yes, GPT-4 is now capable of analyzing images. So it's not only text-based now, it can ingest images, tell you what the image is all about, and <laughs> He's asking it to write a brief HTML slash JavaScript to turn this mockup into a colorful website where the jokes are actually replaced by two real jokes. He just asked it to create a fully functional website from a napkin drawing. Can it really do this? No, we wait. <laughs> Didn't have to wait long because, yep, there it is. The thing that's amazing in my mind is that What's going on here is we're talking to a neural network and this neural network was trained to predict what comes next, right? It played this, uh, this game of sort of being shown a partial document and then predicted what comes next across an unimaginably large amount of content. And from there, it learns all of these skills that you can apply in all of these very flexible ways. And so we can actually take now this output. So literally we just said to output the HTML from that picture. So he just, pasting it right inside of a code pen, along with JavaScript and everything else, right into the HTML field. You can do that, by the way. And here we go. And there it is. Actual working JavaScript, filled in the jokes. For comparison, this was the original <laughs> of our mockup. And so there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. And this is all just potential, right? We wow. All right. Yeah, it's potential, of course, like he said. It's a very simple website for now, but uh, you can extrapolate. This This is only like a, a development of a couple months since we had ChatGPT come out. Of course, this is years in, in the works, but this stuff is developing at an insane clip so if you've just learned JavaScript and HTML, you gotta take the next step. Now it's up to you to keep learning, to keep going. You gotta, you, it's a race against time, folks. You gotta keep going, you gotta keep learning. Don't stop at just coding. All right, I made a video about this. I'll link to it right over here. What's the difference between just being a coder and being a software architect, software engineer? Watch this video next to find out.